What's the vibes? Top of the morning, top of the afternoon, top of the evening. Whenever this video may find you, I am Dream. Follow me on Twitter, Mr. Dreamy One, the number one. Sub to my YouTube channel, Blunt Money Best. That's this channel you watching right here. Um, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. Let me know what y'all on. Um, if you're watching this on Twitter, please do me a favor, give me a heart and a retweet. I definitely appreciate it. It helped me uh go to the channel and grow my page. Um, instead of Fridays with Flow, it's Sundays with Flow. We are officially at a thousand subs, so appreciate y'all. Now it's always a hater that might like get like I'm unsubbing to get 9.99. That's why I said somebody need to make sure they sub just so we can go over it a little. We need to go over the thousand, just you know, bots, all kind of stuff. But man, uh, definitely appreciate it. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna uh, hand it over to Flo. Uh, let him give a short intro um, and kind of let him recap what he's been doing. Flo been on that heater. So well, I've been oh, doing I'm sorry. It. I'm sorry, but more importantly, mm. sub to the Cap Collective Discord. Y'all know Absolutely. the vibes with me. Quick recap. I've been asked lately. I lost another unit yesterday. You know, uh, I don't know what the fuck's up. I'm still up like 25 something units this month. But well, I do know what's up. I've been getting hooked. You know, and generally, y'all know the vibes. When we get hooked a bunch, we uh, explode, have a great uh, run. So that's really what been happening with me. But Flo, on the other hand, been on fire. But sub to the Cap Collective Discord. The link is in the description and the link is in my bio. You know, the vibes. And I think we got an MLB special going on as well. So, uh, Flo, what's the vibes, man? First off, y'all should definitely be in that Cap Collective already because Dream been holding us down. Um, y'all know what the deal is. Sports with Flow on YouTube. Stefan Floral down there on Twitter. That's where you can find me. That's where you can follow me. It's been a hell of a two-week stretch. I was talking to Dream before we got on here, and I said, he's like, man, man like you've been on a heater. What happened? I said, because I looked up one day, and I realized this regular season is about to be open like a couple weeks here. I didn't even realize it was supposed to be over, so I'm like, what are you saving those timeouts and those liens for? Pull the liens. You know, the, the I, I always put on my post the liens bucket. The liens bucket's like 8-0, and, oh, and I didn't take them liens. So I'm done leaving anything on the table. So let's get it to it. Sunday. It's beautiful. Let's get to this bread. Let's get to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, not to comment something real quick. Happy Easter, Dreamers. Yeah, happy Easter to you as I'm well. Easter. I'm used to Easter being in April. My goodness. Um, but yeah, happy Easter, gang. Uh, happy Easter, Dreamers, Midwest La Diva, uh, Dream Girls in the building. Uh, Dream and Flo, grateful for the 1K subs. Today we find out how Dream got his name. Yes, that's that's a fact. I will be giving y'all that story toward the end at the game portion of the program. Um, I'm excited how you all are too. Don't forget, sub, uh, share, comment, and like. Let's get this cash. Damn, it's like this light is brighter than normal today. Uh, Brian W., <clears throat> what's the vibes, bro? Same shit, different day, trying to kick out of this little fuck I was in. I had a great March Madness, and I don't rest on my laurels, but, man, I had a nice return. Been, been kind of cold lately. Got some nasty hooks. Got another hook yesterday. So, Well, three more hooks yesterday, but it is what it is. Uh, oh, that was uh, She put the same thing in. Uh, Midwest Live Diva in the building. Who they was good. Uh, go with the flow. I appreciate know. that. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, shit, I'll knock my straights out. Uh, Flo was telling me off air we got some of the same looks. So, yes, I'll knock my straights out. Let Flo knock his straights out. Then we'll get to uh, Blood Money Bets. All right. Uh, so, let me see where we at. Because I'll make sure I put timestamps up because the game's not starting until 3 3 30. So, all right. Uh, let's do it. 76ers, first half full game money line in the Kings. First half full game money line, minus 124. This is just a play that I just feel, I don't know. And I have no idea why the font is so large or maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It just seems like the no, not my message is huge compared to how it normally is. Uh, but I digress. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So Philly, they've got back-to-back -back heartbreaking losses. You know, that that Philly loss was definitely heartbreaking. Well, that Clipper loss was heartbreaking because they feel like they got the game stolen from them. And that's when Kelly Oubre was like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, all that shit. Yeah. And then they played Cleveland um, <clears throat> in a game that I expected Cleveland to handle them. And they didn't. You know, they could have won that game. They lost that game kind of toward the end. So I expect this. Now, I would honestly, and we'll get to a blunt money bet later, I honestly like um, Philly with the 11, 11 and a half, but it's hard for me to beat the team four straight times. 
you know, um, so that's really why I'm not betting the, the spread as like a half unit bet or nothing like that. But I just think Philly is going to kill them today. I think Philly, it's like when you've been frustrated as a team and you've just been waiting, waiting, all right, this this is, like I call it, chicken noodle soup. And they feel like this is a team that they can exploit. They already beat them three times this year. I don't know if RJ is going to be back in. Maybe he's back in. I don't think Quickly's going to play. Um, either way it goes, they got a goddamn gambling scandal going on with John Tate mm-hmm. Porter. I just don't think this is a good spot for them. So, um, I expect Philly to come out again. They've lost three straight, four or five. This is a decent team. I'm not saying they're a good team, but they're a decent team. They're better than four out of five um, because they've been covering the spreads. Look at the spreads. They've been covering. So, yeah, I think Philly's going to win this game handily. I'll take them in the first half and full game. Same thing with the Kings. Um, they're going against a Jazz team that's not going to have Clarkson or Market in the night, so they should handle business. Uh, and they're talking about extended minutes for – De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis for the duration of the season, which makes sense because they had a, they doing a playoff push right now. Plus, I think uh, Malik Monk is out, so um, yeah. even more reason for me to think that De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis are going to play more minutes, and that's always a good thing. So, both of those teams to win the first half, full game minus one twenty four on FanDuel. Shop around, get the best price that you can get. All right, next, <clears throat> Corey Kisper. Over two and a half threes with the Sixers money line. So I told you guys I really like the Sixers today. Corey Kispert. Um, so for his career versus Miami, which is crazy because he's always come off the bench for the most part, he's over this line six of ten. But if you look at his last six games, which I also found shocking, he's got 30 minutes in six of his last in his last six games. He's got 30 plus minutes. Now I can see, you know, I'm not surprised by his last two games where he has you know, uh, five and six three-pointers in his last two games because I'm like, okay, Washington, they've been ravaged by injuries, Tyus Jones, cool, all these people in and out of the lineup, whatever. But for the last, that's, that covers two damn near three seasons that he's got 30-plus minutes, 38, 36 minutes. So long story short, for whatever reason, he gets a bunch of minutes. His last six games, he's got three threes and four of those six games. Like I told you guys, his last two, he's got five and six. I think he's worth the latter opportunity. We'll get to that in the blunt money best. But, yeah, Corey Kisper, the two and a half threes, I think they're at, like, minus 146 on fan, dude. Couldn't talk you off of that. But y'all know me. I do everything I can to get the juice down, and sometimes it doesn't work out. Uh, but, yeah, Kisper, uh, two and a half threes plus the Sixers money line, minus 106. Next, Josh Giddy, man, uh, held us down last – well, on Friday. I didn't stream yesterday because it really wasn't much many games, and I didn't have many looks at all. Uh, but when was that? Friday? Shout out to Josh Giddy, all right? Uh, came through. Uh, we had his 15 for half a unit, and we also had him with that bam blow money back that I told y'all I felt like was going to be a snipe. We did end up sniping. Um, but yeah, Josh Giddy, 13 points in the Miami money line. So, uh, Miami just coming off of a 30 40 point win against Portland. I think we're going to get a similar result today. I won't be surprised if they cover that line, even though Miami typically don't cover big spreads. I won't be surprised if uh, we get a double-digit win, 10, 15, 20-point win uh, for Miami. Hopefully they keep it close so, you know, we can get Corey Kispert getting a bunch of minutes and Jordan Poole getting a bunch of minutes, you know. But either way it goes, I'm pretty confident Miami wins this game. And Josh Giddy, 13 points. He's got that eight of his last 10 games. Most of those games, SGA been in, so I don't care if SGA plays or not. I actually like this shit better if SGA is in. Mm. If SGA is in, they going to leave this nigga <clears throat> butt naked. Like, they normally just leave him, like, partially nude. Like, you know, like a bikini, not a bikini, you know, like swimming trunks and shit. Like, if, if SGA in there, they're going to be like, nigga, go ahead. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Dead ass. So, um, Josh Giddy, like I said, over this line, eight of his last ten. His last four games, 19, 25, 31, and 23 points. He's being super aggressive to the point where it's like, <laughs> He's, he's he's taking it personal, as you should, man. These guys leaving you open, man. Fuck that. And he still ain't going to be able to work his way into a playoff lineup. He still ain't going to be seeing 30 minutes in the playoffs. His ass still, he might be getting 19 to 22 minutes in the playoffs. But what he is going to do is show his ass at the end of this regular season like he's been doing and at least be some sort of a threat. I mean, goddamn, if he keep this shit up, you got to pay him some attention in the first round of the playoffs or at least – to say if he do this, if he finished the season averaging 15 to 17 points, 
shooting 36, 38 percent from three, and you get to the playoffs and you do that shit game one, that's going to change how you game plan against OKC, and that's really going to help OKC out. Because that's why they got Gordon Hayward or to stretch the floor and be a, a Josh Giddy supplement. So I think Josh Giddy knows that. I think he knows that he could be the odd guy out. Look at that team. Look at that nucleus. They don't need no Josh fucking Giddy. You can stick Isaiah Joe in that lineup. They'd be just fine. Gordon Hayward, just stick anybody in that lineup besides Josh Giddy, and they'll be fine. Josh Giddy like shit. Y'all gonna get rid of me. I just want to show my future suitors that I'll be, uh, you know, uh, worthy of a look. Add that to the fact that he's been mirrored in controversy all year. I think that's another reason why he's playing. So, yeah, Josh Giddy, 13 points and uh, Miami money line. Gave this out to the court last night. It's still, mm -hmm. this was a minus one on one when I gave it out for a unit. Uh, I played this to minus 130, to be honest with you. Couldn't tell you. I think his points is at 13 and a half. You can just play that. I just got this weird thing that I just, I don't know, I just like playing underneath shit sometimes. I got to get off of that. But yeah, pause. All right. Last but not least, um, and I do have one uh, more straight in the court, and I'm probably going to have two more coming in the court. I'm just waiting for lines to drop shit, maybe three. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, Jordan Poole, six assists, and the Sacramento money line. Again, I told you guys I expect Sacramento to win. That's a 12-point favorite. Couldn't talk you guys off of Keontae Swain tonight. Shit, why the fuck else not? Who else they got besides Sexton who might go for 50? But Jordan Poole, six assists, Sacramento money line. And I, if you want to play minus 140, Jordan Poole, six assists, go ahead. I don't trust Jordan Poole enough. I mean, I'm putting a unit on him. But I don't trust him enough to uh, lose damn near a unit and a half if you fuck up. So we just get it down to a minus 115. Jordan Poole, his last four games, six, eight, five, and 12. Uh, so he's over this three of his last four. Three times this year he's played Miami. Most of those times he's been off the bench. He's got over this line every game. He's even got a 10 assist game, 6-6-10. Six, six, and 10. So uh, you add that all together. I like Jordan Poole to get six assists today um, with a nice combined hit rate of, uh, like I said, 75% over his last four and 100% um, with uh, playing against Miami this year. So add that to the uh, Sacramento money line on DraftKings. I got a minus 115. Ladies and gentlemen, those are your straight bets. Flo, uh, what are you on, bro? Uh, there's a lot, a uh, lot that I'm on today, but uh, we'll start at the top. I'm right there with you. Everything, Corey Kispert. Um, just to back up, we've been targeting. Well, I particularly for me, I've been targeting catch and shoot players, uh, specifically against the Miami Heat, top six and uh, to catch and shoot threes. I want to say he's given up five. He has five and six threes, as you so eloquently broke down in the two games versus Miami. I took the, the points at 15. It opened at 15 minus 130. I want to say he's over the 15 at nine of his last 10. And there's shout out to the homie Monotone Football, huge Wizards fan. 15 points. You said he over 15, nine of his last 10? It's nine of 10 or eight of 10. Damn, it's like I didn't even ridiculous. look at his points. I'll just be yeah. knocking on his threes. Wow. Yeah, because we all know him as a guy who just shoots a bunch of threes. Um, I like Corey Kispert, and I took him before I saw him. He's drive. Yes, sir. I want to give a shout out to Monotone Football, who gave an oh, excellent yeah. Oh, he he knows everything, but if if he knows everything, times two because he knows the Wizards because that's his team, and he gave an excellent breakdown of it. You know, I don't want to do it any injustice. Y'all got to go check him out. I was like, when Tyus went down, this is what he's doing, gave the percentage. It was uh, masterful. So definitely want to go with uh, Corey Kispert. Love that. And we'll talk more about him later in the program. Uh, D'Angelo Russell's back in Brooklyn, and Brooklyn gives up that three on that elbow right in the alley. D'Angelo yeah. Russell's line is 2.5 minus 120. Yes, mm -hmm. sign me up for D'Angelo Russell back in Brooklyn to pull that thing. I think he's only been played there like one time since being on that Nets team that made a run and kind of revitalized the culture. Yeah, I had to play D'Lo. D'Lo's going to make them three threes for me. I just I just feel it. Um, okay, so I was on Josh Giddy's points plus assists because I love the opportunity if Shea wasn't in there. Now I like it less. I'm with you. I pivot towards the points. There's no line for him right now until Shea. He was doubtful with the quad. Now he's questionable until there's clarity. They probably won't put his line back up or maybe they drop it down. But everything you said, I love Josh Giddy in this spot. I think that the Knicks are kind of like a weird team. They're kind of small. Like, pause. Like, if you look at the matchups, if Hart's at the four and if they go with Dante, like, Giddy could, like, just get over the top, shoot over the top. And the bigger problem is, man, who the hell is guarding Jalen Williams if Shea's in there? Because that's going to be a problem because they're going to have to put Dante or Josh Hart over on 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 Shea and Jalen Williams is gonna go crazy. So I'm waiting to see what happens over there. Um, 
this game has like a lot of upside for I think like a same game parlay. I'm looking at it. Cache, if you look at it, I didn't take it as a straight. There's so much in the air. But if you look at it, I always say with Tom Thibodeau, you know what point guards to target for those assists, like the De'Aaron Fox types, the Jamal T Murray types. The types where they're like they're going to be at the top of the key. They're going to come off the screen, cut to the lane. They're going to crash down on the defense. Jamal Murray crushed his assists not last time, but before that he had seven versus Thibodeau in three quarters. De'Aaron Fox kills his assists against the Knicks. And I want to say Shea has seven plus assists in four of the last five against Tom Thibodeau. So a lot going on there. But back to the straights, Josh Giddy points plus assists. Took that. The layup, I don't like this player. Me and him have a terrible relationship whenever I bet on him. Sometimes he covers, but when he covers, it's never enjoyable. It's bam, bam, double, double plus the win. Heat versus Wizards. Every center is killing the Wizards. Bam, I want to say had 16 rebounds last time he played the Wizards. Bam, just grab 10 rebounds and get out of there, man. Like, don't be like the Heat have this thing now where they like to go 50 points in the third quarter, apparently. They did it like twice in the last week. So please just grab these 10 rebounds. And get me out of there. Um, and the last one I'm gonna take is uh Josh Hart. I'm adding this like last second is Josh Hart, uh 10 rebounds in the Lakers money line at plus 103. Um, his rebounds plus assist is so sky high that you can't take it anymore. But I always say whenever it's a big game, whenever the good team is in town and it's a fast pace, go grab Josh Hart and Thibodeau Will and play him 41 minutes. Sneaky thing with the Knicks is their front court's kind of beat up. Mitchell Robinson sprained his ankle last game. Isaiah Hardenstein has a sprained wrist. So they need him to do the Josh Hart thing and be a lunatic and go grab 14 rebounds again. Heck, I wonder what his 14 rebounds are because Josh Hart is going to go Hart crazy today. So love that one. I have a single that's not up. I've already given out six. Please tell responsibly. I'm playing all the leans because it's like 10 days. Are we doing the free game portion of the program or are we holding that till later? Later, but if you got a trade that you about to give out for sure, you might as well give it out. Yeah, because free game is kind of like leans or shit. Mm. I might, I might play, but if you know something you're gonna play for sure, you go ahead. Bet. Oh, oh, let me get to. I also didn't mention Deuce McBride. <laughs> <laughs> so many plays. I didn't mention them all. Deuce McBride threes. I started with his uh three threes and two assists. He has two assists in every game since being a full time starter. Uh. You mentioned it last time on the program. It's every other day, Miles McBride. <laughs> one day he has five, the next he has one. La last game he had a Spurs matchup, which I didn't think that was a good matchup for him because they've been doing a better job lately of suffocating that three-point line. But he gets an OKC team that allows the second most catch-and-shoot three-point attempts. Last 30 games, six most threes to shooting guards, and also third most assists to shooting guards. So if you look at my page, you'll see it. I took the three threes, two dimes, minus 115 on DK. Four threes and one steal. He has a steal in every game since he's a starter. I'm just trusting Deuce to just go get a steal. He's Deuce McBride. Mm -hmm. Four threes and a steal, 261. Five threes and a steal, 575. This was before Shea. When I was like, oh, Shea's down. Nick's definitely winning. I still think they could win today, but now it's not as great. But five deuce threes. The full deuce experience. Five deuce threes. Four deuce dimes. One steal, Nick's win. Plus 1932. It's probably over plus 2,000 at this point. That's like my little deuce uh, ladder for today. And the last one I'm taking, it's not up. You got to wait to 20 minutes for the game. DeAndre Drummond is about to be out here, and he might grab 18 damn rebounds tonight because there's this big track record tonight of Rudy Gobert versus Nikola Vucevic, Bulls, T-Wolves. Rudy Gobert has played Vucevic 14 times in his career. In the last 13, he has 13-plus rebounds. Played two times this year. Uh, Gobert, I want to say, has 16 and 18 rebounds in those two games. The Bulls, knowing full well about this, started DeAndre Drummond last time, and the dude still went off. But in that game, Drummond had 16 boards. Since Carl Towns went down in the last 15, Wolves are giving the sixth most boards to centers. Your man DeAndre Drummond has 11-plus rebounds in the last four games off that bench. This year, a lot of numbers. Sorry to bore y'all. The coffee hitting, though. Uh, this year, when your man DeAndre Drummond, I'm praying they start this dude. Because if they start this dude, I will ladder his rebounds to 22 and not even care. Seven games this year where he plays 28-plus minutes. I mentioned the one against 16 against the Wolves. Rebounds, 26, 15, 13, 16, 17, 23, 25. DeAndre Drummond to the moon on his rebounds, whenever that goes up 15 minutes for the game. So a lot. Don't take them all. My favorite player of the day, if you made me pick, would be D'Lo. But it's D'Lo's threes, McBride's threes. 
Kispert, 15 points. DeAndre Drummond rebounds when that goes up. Hard 10 boards in the, the Lakers to win. And Josh Getty points plus assists. Don't love it as much because Shea might be in there. But that's what I'm on today. All right. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do um, the promotion portion of the program. Did I get into my blood money best? I don't know if Flo has any more because he did just give you all one. Um, I don't know if Flo has any more. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you watching this on YouTube, please do me a favor. Like this video. Um, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, sub, comment, share. Let me uh, share the video. Let me know what y'all on. Sub to the um, channel. Uh, put your notification bell on so you know when I'm going live. Uh, if you watch this on Twitter, sub. I mean, uh, <laughs> like, a uh, heart and share or heart and retweet. And um, follow me on Twitter, Mr. Dreamy One the Number One. I definitely appreciate that. And uh, when we get done with the stream, um jump off of uh, Twitter and jump on YouTube and let me get a few more subs so I ain't just sitting there on a thousand subs. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, please, if you haven't already, join that Good Cap Collective Discord going up. I haven't given out any plays on the timeline. I'll probably give a couple of these out on the timeline that I gave y'all, that I'm giving y'all on the show, on the channel. I normally do it in reverse, give y'all a couple on the timeline to give y'all more on the channel and give the most in the court um but i definitely will have a couple plays on the timeline so um yeah man um sub to the cap collective discord um the uh link is in my bio and the link is in my description all that good shit you dig appreciate it um all right with that being said before i get the blunt money bets um a couple notes i wrote down um so as far as josh giddy Y'all could wait. The fact that Josh Giddy, if y'all are not in the court and y'all didn't already play it, y'all could wait. Because if Josh Giddy locked, you probably going to get a discount. His yeah. points might be at like 12 and a half, 11 and a half, just on some shit like, oh, they may, you know, just the books. I'm, I don't think they locked in on Josh Giddy. Shit. His line opened lower than last game. We played his line at 15 minus 135 last game. This shit's at 13 and a half plus money right now. Or it was at 13 and a half type shit. So I won't be surprised if it go down to 11 and a half or if it's 12 and a half minus 110. So you can wait on Josh Giddy if you want for his points. Um, I also played his 20, you know, plus 400. Might as well wait on that shit too. You're probably going to get a better number on that. Uh, what else? Um, I wrote down Deuce McBride one still. That's interesting. Um, I didn't, I didn't know Deuce always get a steal like that. Oh, Giddy, centers. So, about the Knicks being small, that's another reason why I like Josh Giddy, no matter who's in. Isaiah Hartenstein is going to be guarding Giddy. Precious Achua, who can guard him. And Mitchell Robinson. That's generally what these teams do against, the opposing teams do against Josh Giddy. They have the their center guarding him. And I can definitely see the Knicks doing that because, kind of like Flo saying, their power forward, Josh Hart, he's going to have to guard like a real player. He's going to have to guard either SGA, you know, first of all, somebody going to have to guard Chet, um, you know, so that'll be yeah. very interesting. Who guards Chet? Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe they try to go big and let, I, I don't know. But it's, this is going to be very interesting. Either way it goes, Josh Kitty is either not going to have any attention paid to him or they're going to have Isaiah Hartenstein or Mitchell Robinson on him. That's what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that, too. Uh, oh, yeah, and since we're talking about that game, the sneaky one about that game, it's why I uh, took the ladder on Wemby's threes because the Knicks are back to being the November Knicks, which is drop coverage, slow-footed. I mean, Harnstein has great mobility, but when Mitch goes in there, he's like kind of slow-footed and he's ahead. Mr. Robinson, I don't think going to play, bro. He looked terrible at the end of the last game. Didn't he look hurt? Oh, I, I mean, I was out. I was out with the girlfriend, yeah, so I didn't. Tweet, yeah, I saw he tweeted his shit, and then he never went back out. But oh wow, he, it was a it was a clear tweet. Yeah. Mm. You know, I'm not taking it because I just don't see enough. Chet Holmgren's threes. It's the same thing I said about Wemby. Line gonna be open. Thing I liked about Wemby because I'm like, yeah, I'm like, man, Wemby makes one or two. He's gonna shoot eight. Chet might make one or two and like stop shooting them. So. I'm not taking them, but I do think that like that three point line will be open, especially if Shea's in there. This is a matchup nightmare for the Knicks. There's too many bodies. J Dub could go off. J Dub had like 35 points the last time we played. So yeah. All right. Uh that is that. Um, and with that being said, gang.
Like I said, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and sub to the Cap Collective Discord. Let's get into blunt money bets. Uh, let me see. All right, like I said, Josh Giddy, 20 points plus 400 on FanDuel. I'd wait. You could probably get it at plus 500 uh, once the line reopens, once we get the SGA news. I wouldn't be surprised if SGA sits out, but they may feel like they need all these games coming down the stretch, so who knows. Uh, but I did play Josh Giddy 20 points. Again, he's got 20 points three of his last four games, maybe three straight games, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, Josh Giddy, uh, four times your money, I'll take it. Deuce McBride, uh, five threes plus 500. Uh, kind of like Flo was talking about. Um, and I couldn't talk you off of, and I still may get there, Deuce McBride, 25 points. Couldn't talk you off of that, so it's simple. Deuce McBride, every other game, he hits six threes and scores 25 points. That's just what it's looking like since he's been in the starting lineup. And he's going to get 40 minutes regardless. So um, if you just want to play that trend, I couldn't talk you off of it. Uh, we played it last game, and it worked out for us. So uh, we'll see. Deuce McBride, uh, five threes plus 500. Next, um, uh, I'll just go through the looks that me and Flo were pretty much aligned on. Uh, D'Angelo Russell, Russell and Corey Kispert, three ladders. Three oh, ladders. Um, so, yeah, D'Lo, four threes, and Kispert, four threes. I got that on DraftKings at a plus 625. And then the five threes on FanDuel, a plus 2552. Shop around. I don't think it should have dropped that much. Flo kind of spoke about why he liked the three. Same reason I like D'Lo today. Plus, you got the revenge with him and Dennis Schroeder. Um, good spot for D'Lo. I can see LeBron just falling back and letting D'Lo do what he do. And Corey Kisper, uh, last two games that he's played, these guys he's got five threes, and I think he's got five threes and three of his last five, actually. So, um, hey, it's worth the ladder. Same I love that angle you. when you called it out of D'Lo versus Dennis. I didn't even think about that. That was just yeah, crazy. yeah. That's been all over the timeline. The, uh, you know, they they was talking. And then plus, D'Lo, it, it's really, you know, and it's more reason D'Lo want to tear, want to really go at him because D'Lo think them two don't like each other. Yeah, they both think they're better than each other. Plus, Schroeder is is a uh, ham favorite. Was Ham favor over him, so it's yeah. kind of like a three way beef because D'Lo don't like Ham, so it's like, yeah, yeah I'm about to tear your mess up in front of you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm about to do it in front of you. You know, you know? Funny that, that game's in Barclays, and I once said about John Claude Jones when she's in Barclays, the best thing that could ever happen because we bet on that night. I was like, if someone just insulted her when the game starts, <laughs> the best thing that could happen tonight is if Dennis Schroeder first possession makes a three and does like that little. Three, oh, if he did that, bro, oh, we're getting man. seven below threes. It'll be I lit. pray that happens. It'll be too lit because Schroeder last two games he got twenty plus points. Yeah, that, Schroeder been diamond and, and scoring as well. So yeah, we, we those two that they could definitely try and go at it today. So. Um, yeah, D'Lo and Kispert, four and five threes apiece. There isn't like since we're here and we're talking this out there, isn't like a D'Lo X Dennis like twenty twenty that we could. Just throw some change on. I mean, now, that, now, that, now we're talking this out. I mean, I, I, I put something similar in the court already. Okay. Um, a SGP. I didn't do 2020, but I did do something with like D Lo 20. I forget the rest of it. But I know I had D Lo 20 and Shorter with 15 and 7 in it. I know I All had right. those three All legs right. in it for sure. And I may have added like one or maybe two more legs and it got to like a plus 1100. But yeah, I definitely did did them too. Um, and I'm already on D -Lo. I, I got yeah, I'm on D -Lo there and I, I'm on D -Lo here as well. So yeah, man, I could not talk anybody if they wanted to do 2020. I think it was like a plus because I did look at that. It was like a mm -hmm. plus 560. 20 okay. for D -Lo and 20 for uh Schroeder was like a plus 560, plus 549 on DraftKings. I mean on, on FanDuel. That's where you might get the best odds unless it's fanatics or somewhere like that. So I couldn't talk you off that at all. Okay. Uh let me see. Uh next. I just threw these leans together, uh, put a couple dollars on it. You know, obviously these are blunt money bets, but these are all bets that I just felt like I would put, if I had just an infinite bankroll, I would put a unit on all these. Uh, and if I wasn't kind of cold right now, uh, and I want to say, yeah, I guess you can call it cold. Uh, it's been a great month, but the last few days I ain't been hitting like I normally do. So, yeah. Um I would have played these for like a half a unit, but instead I just put them all on the blood money back. If one don't hit, I won't feel bad about it. Just put blood money on it. 
Nuggets minus five and a half. I should have got the five, should have waited. I don't care if Jamal Murray plays or not. The Nuggets have lost two straight games at home. Shit, I, I don't care who going in there tonight. I think they fooled or who going in there at three. I feel sorry for them. You're going to get a serious Jokic tonight. You might get like a playoff Jokic tonight. Mm. Dead, dead, dead ass. Like he might actually play like he gives a fuck tonight. If he does that, it don't matter who on the floor with Denver. They're going to win that game. Then if you get a Michael Porter Jr. or you get a uh, Aaron Gordon, you know, to, to pop up and have a good performance. I think that the Nuggets are going to win this game possibly by double digits. We'll see. I already told you guys how much I like Philly today. I think they can win by 20. Now, only reason why I didn't play this as a straight bet, I found a way to be on Philly, first half full game. But I didn't play this because they already beat them three times. So, yeah, it's, um, tough, hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to beat a team like that four times. I think they're going to win, but it's tough to just blow them out. But the reason why I think they do blow them out, this is not a full team. This is a G League team that you're going on. That you, this is worse than a G League team that you're trying out there at this point. You don't got your top four players. Maybe fucking uh, you get quickly back or – RJ Barrett back, maybe, but this is RJ after being out, what, 10 games? So, yes. and I, I would play RJ um, in this first game back from tragedy. I would definitely play him, um, but I still think they lose by double digits. Uh, Charlotte plus 16. My goodness, that line just don't seem right to me. And the Spurs plus nine, same thing. Now, I know the Spurs are going to be without Keldon Jones or Keldon Johnson and somebody else. Uh, and uh, Golden State maybe getting back. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Kaminga, <laughs> but I, I go to say not good to me. They're just not good to me. If, if Steph, the same thing holds true, and I thought this before, and Golden State beat the shit out of uh, I mean, and the Spurs beat the shit out of Golden State in Golden State. I, I just don't think that Golden State can win, let alone cover win games without Steph playing well. I don't trust nobody else on Golden State. Maybe Kaminga, but I don't trust nobody else on Golden State. So if I don't trust nobody else on Golden State and Steph have a bad game and Wimby already proved to me that he could go crazy and then with Draymond, I don't fear nobody fear Draymond no more. Draymond got a better chance of getting thrown out the fucking game for a tech or hurting this team more than shutting down Wimby after Wimby just do a good move or Wimby get a call, you know, or he trying to hurt Wimby like he got a better chance of getting thrown out of the fucking game. So, I, yo, Wimby, I've seen enough. I think the Spurs can cover this nine. And Charlotte with the 16, same thing with the Clippers. Maybe the Clippers are turning this shit around. Clippers ain't look good on this road trip. Clippers ain't look good in a month and a half. Yeah, could the Clippers win by 20 points on the road? Sure. Would I bet them? Hell fucking no. Plus, you got Brandon Miller going against his GOAT. All the more reason for them to come out and play hard. We'll see. So, Charlotte, plus 16. Spurs, plus 9. Philly, minus 11.5. And, and the Nuggets, minus 5.5. Probably could have got some better numbers there, but heck, is what it is. Um, speaking of Brandon Miller, plus 643. Uh, this is like six legs. All my leans put together. Um, or lean, leans and, and shit that I think should happen, pretty much. Uh, Brandon Miller, 15 points. Couldn't take you off a ladder in him. This is his first time playing against Paul George. I expect Paul George to actually play well today uh, because, I mean, you got a young boy, the number two, number three pick in the draft, who's actually pretty good, saying that he thinks you the GOAT. Uh, so Paul George might be like, yeah, I am. Plus, I think Paul George has six threes, and Kawhi Leonard had five threes the first time they played Charlotte, but I could be wrong, and I think they won by 10 that game, but I could be wrong. Uh, Brandon Miller, 15 points. Jalen Brunson, 25 points, because it's Jalen fucking Brunson. Shout out to Jalen Brunson. Hey, my man. God. Oh, my oh, goodness. My goodness. What the, my dumb ass. I played Jalen Brunson 40, Knicks plus seven and a half. Like, I did too fucking much. I should have just said Jalen. Whatever they're going to give me for Jalen. Like, you you, you want to hear a quick story? Hear yeah, a quick go story? ahead, man. So Friday night, the wifey gets his tickets for Tamia and Joe in Brooklyn. It was fantastic. Went with her, her friends, double date. I didn't get to watch any of the Nick game. I had a lean in my head. Where I was like, man, Jalen ain't scored 40 in a while. But this 40 was like plus 700 for the game. So we hit happy hour. We go to the to me and Joe. Um, I had to go to the restroom. I look, I see the Knicks are down in the second quarter, like 15 points. Jalen got eight points. On a whim, I was listening to Tamia. I was feeling nice. My girlfriend's with me. 
I put on I put in Jalen for 35 and 40. I couldn't give it to the timeline because I'm like, I'm not watching the game. I'm not about to tell y'all to put money on. I'm not watching. I I, I look down, Joe's on stage, Jalen got 50 points. I'm like, oh. what the hell happened? <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, that, Unreal. I mean, that was just remarkable. Remarkable, man. So yeah. Yeah, Jalen 25, and if SGA is back, oh, man, Jalen can go yeah. for I, I'd like them both to score 40 today. Uh, honestly, y'all know me. I'm, not, I'm never scared to play a player on their first game back. I always tell you guys, I think in the NBA, it's the opposite of NFL. NFL guy comes back, I think he's more likely to get re-injured because he's coming back too early. NBA, that motherfucker could have came back two games ago. He probably been doing full scrimmages in practice for a week before he get back on the floor, so... You know, especially when they ain't been out that long. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Brandon Miller, 15 points. Jalen Brunson, 25 points. King, Amin Thompson, eight rebounds. Is this the first time I bet on the King today? Because I haven't said King much today. Wow, it is. Yeah, you niggas slacking. D-Lo, you could be a King today. Low key, D-Lo. You got oh, ball is in uh, your boy Deuce one more blow up from being King? I got to see. I don't know. Because he, he got get... you to 1,700. I can't remember if he got you some before that though. I, think I know that's King the is like three thing, times, I, right? I think dude, that's the only thing I've ever bet Deuce on. Okay. I think the enough. other times I bet Deuce, I caught him on an off day on yeah. the every other day. I might have another, I might have another. I actually I I think I do got another Max Duke Deuce Cash. I got I think he got two. So he needs two more. He got two. Okay. That 1700 was crucial. And I think yeah. I got him on one of his early before he went on this crazy streak. I think I got him earlier on four threes at plus like five fifty or something. Bless yeah. your heart, because you always preach responsible gambling. So you put on like the you're like, oh, put point one. I saw that do seventeen. I'm like point two five. Enter, <laughs> bro. I, bro, I know. And honestly, the core got me like that more. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I yeah, always want to be that. like yeah. the rapper that's living his rhymes type shit. Now, sometimes, <laughs> like I said, I and y'all see it. Sometimes I tell y'all to bet something, and I bet more than that. But yeah, most same. times I try to just keep it because I wanted to be realistic. I don't want people to be like, see, man, I'm betting what you say, and this ain't no money. And you know it ain't no money because look what you betting. Like, nah, bro, we can still eat off this shit, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, yo, yeah. that's a fact. That's a fact because I trust me. I wanted to just go ahead and put ten dollars on all of them, all of my time. Yeah. You know me, I just want to throw ten on all of them. Like, look, one go hit. <laughs> this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I do. When I see Dream put up his like, he's like, "Hey man, put point one. Hey man, put on point oh five. My first response is. Bro, I hear you, but I'm about to put one two five. Bro, I just be trying, man. I'll be trying. Look for real, bro. I'll be trying. That's what the court did, but I'm like, gotta be responsible with these units for the people that's following. Facts. Facts. Um, uh, where I was at? Oh, yeah, King Amen Thompson. So we got Brandon Miller 15, Jalen Brunson 25, and I only got a couple more after this too, y'all. Uh, Brandon Miller 15, Jalen Brunson 25. King Amin Thompson, eight rebounds. I love King Amin Thompson today. Prepare yourselves. There will be more Amin Thompson. Maybe not on this program, but in the court and probably on your timeline. Lakers, money line plus Cam Thomas, 20 points. I told y'all last game, Cam, I, I think they just letting Cam go. Whatever the fuck you want yeah. to do these last, and it's only eight games left. Oh, boy, Cam, just go ahead, bro. Get the people something to watch. Go ahead. Mikael Bridges is clocked out of the sea. He don't give a yeah. fuck. He want to be a Nick so goddamn bad. Oh my. I don't like, want to do for that. Like that's that's weak. Like he going on your he, friend's podcast. Ah, oh, let's go get a sandwich after you just beat my team by thirty. Like that's it's weak. yo. I seen his points at seventeen and a half minus one forty. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's crazy. So yeah, I think Cam Thomas and I think he just had thirty versus my Lakers the last time they played off the bench or twenty eight something like that. Yeah, he was cooking. Yeah, so Cam, 20 points, but I do think the Lakers win today. I also think Golden State wins today. But Lakers, oh, speaking of which, Lakers money line, Cam, 20 points, bust okay. down Wimbiama, 20 points, Golden State Warriors money line. All right? I'll run all that back because it took me like five minutes because me and Flo was talking, so it took me a minute to get to Sorry this. Sorry about that. Plus, I want to let you cook, but I had to. That's do. cool. Plus 643 on DraftKings. Again, these are just leans that I like, just leans that I like, and I, I gave the reason why. Brandon Miller, 15 points. He's going against his goal. Jalen Brunson, 25 points. If SGA comes back, I, I 
rebounds. Give me Jalen Brunson 30, to be honest with you. Amin Thompson, eight rebounds, because Amin Thompson, last two games, he got 13 and 14 rebounds. My goodness, King fucking Amin for a reason. Lakers money line, Golden State money line. Cam Thomas, 20 points, bust down Wimbiama, 20 points. Plus 643, bunch of leans thrown together. All right. A uh, couple more. Of course, we're going to run back our tonight. <clears throat> Bam, one three-pointer. Josh Giddy, 15 points. I got it at a plus 802. Um, Bam's three has gone from plus 330, where I gave this out last night, to like a plus yeah. 260, plus yeah. 220. Like, it's 200 now. I mean, I, it's still worth it, um, but I'm not putting gas money on it. I was going to throw a little gas money on this if it was still 300, but I said I'm cool. I've told you guys how much I like Josh Giddy points, so that should be no surprise. But Bam just hit another three. Same reasoning. I think he's seven of eight now. Six of his last seven, he's hit a three. Same type of three-point shot. It, same breakdown I gave y'all last game. This nigga's going against a team that should be up by 15 at halftime. You don't think he's going to be feeling frisky? You don't think he know he don't hit a three? After the, this nigga probably don't hit more threes consecutively in the last three weeks than he has his entire career combined. Y'all don't think you know that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he probably does. So, he might get a... He had two last game. I, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Bam, 1-3. Josh Giddy, 15 points. I got that at a plus 802. Um, and the last but not least, and I got a couple more than I like. Um, but, yeah. Last but not least, man. Uh, Josh Hart, 7 assists. Josh Giddy. Well, no. Josh Hart, 7 yeah, assists, 10 rebounds. Josh Giddy, six assists, seven rebounds. So I just got hooked on this, uh, you know, hooked on Phoenix. It's been really working for me all week. I don't know what the fuck is going on since I came back, but I had this beautiful round robin uh, with Dre and the two Joshes, you know, and I was a Josh Giddy rebound away from at least cashing the two out of the three. Would have been a nice, uh, nice cash out. So we're going to basically run it back. Josh Hart, um, I told you guys, Last time I streamed, I don't give a fuck who's in. Josh Hart, 10 rebounds, that got to be a look for me. I, if I can get that at a respectable odds, I'm putting that shit with something. And seven assists for Josh Hart, I mean, I don't know how many assists he had last game. I think he had eight. But, yeah, because we was this yep. close to getting a triple-double. We had a triple-double two games ago at plus, I think, 1,200. Um, so, yeah, last three games, eight, 10, and 10 assists. So, I think he can get 10 rebounds and seven assists. As far as Josh Giddy, if SGA comes back, I like this even more um, for him to get seven rebounds and six assists. But if no SGA, same shit. He still have the ball in his hand a bunch. Still going to try and get sneaky-ass rebounds. So, yeah, um, I don't know what this is. I think it's a plus 650. Um, so, yeah, Josh Hart, seven assists. Josh Hart, 10 rebounds. Josh Giddy, six assists. Josh Giddy, seven rebounds. Ladies and gentlemen. Those are your blood money bets. Flo, you got any for the people? Yeah, I got a bunch of uh, random looks. Uh, let me take you off to uh, Philly. Wait, now. so no blood money bets? Yo. Oh, no, I got a, I got a bunch. Oh, okay. I got a bunch. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, <laughs> Philly and Toronto, one thing I noticed with Toronto, obviously their front line is dreadful. They gave up rebounds to everyone. They also, like, it's funny. If you look at the teams who get their shots punched at the rim, like who get give up blocks, it's always the same teams. It's the Hawks. It's the Grizzlies. It's the Raptors. So. In three of the last four games, uh, Mo Bamba and Paul Reed have been doing a number. They have two blocks each in three of the last four games. So two blocks for Mo, two blocks for Paul, six is money line on Fanatics, plus 340. I threw some change on that. Also notice, because I thought back, because I actually watched the game. I don't know why. What was that blocking. you said? Two blocks for Mo and Paul. How much was that? Money line, plus 340. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I got the idea for this one because, like, I watched. Sixers Pistons a couple weeks ago and noticed like man Wiseman and Dern are going off. I think like Dern had 23 rebounds and Wiseman in 60 minutes had 10. So they <laughs> haven't done this yet. But whenever I have two bigs that I know they're gonna play like 10, 22 plus minutes and they play in the Raptors. So I did the craziness of both of them to have two blocks, both of them to have 10 rebounds. I got 2800 off of Fanatics. I would use my boost, got to 3080. Put five bucks on it. Nothing crazy, but you know, it's the rap. Oh end. man, we could get really sick. Both yeah. of them they hit a three. Oh man, yeah. Oh yeah. B ball yeah. Paul, he don't shoot many threes, but he shoots it well. 
And yeah. Mo Bamba is definitely probably going to hit a three. I wonder Bro. what that would turn into, but no, Man. I like that. The, like these that. Raptors games are YMCA games. Like you said, this isn't a professional <laughs> team. Like, you, <laughs> oh, you've been practicing threes of practice? Take one in the game. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I did that. Um, the Kisper threes, I'm right there with you. I took the four. I took the four with the Heat money line because I'm pretty confident. <laughs> Cam. <laughs> Cam. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, but uh, to keep it moving, I took Kispert's four threes at – one second here. Four threes with the Heat money line, 225, and I just took the five threes by itself at 490 because my own thought – I thought process like the Heat aren't going to lose, but Kispert makes five threes. Maybe the Wizards are in the game. Um, I also did a round robin of the, the three dudes who were kind of – we were all kind of like talking about for threes, which is D'Lo, Kispert, Deuce McBride. So it's all, oh, all of them for that. four. That's at – one second. 2031 for the straight, plus I just round robin that, and all of them for the five is 15908. I round robin that as well, like that one too. And I gave out the Josh Giddy triple double, but like I just saw Shea practice, so it sounds like he might be getting a go. So I can't, can't get I that like one. that even more now. Oh, really? Because to me, Shea more sis, he kicks mm. it to Shea more sis. And less usage, so more rebounds. Like, he's going to, like, crash the boards more and get more offensive rebounds type shit with Shane. That's just how I look at it. So oh, That's interesting. Yeah. I had, like, pretty much the same thing. I promise you, like, I didn't see – we didn't, like – Yo, I know. It's crazy. Yo, this is yeah. – honestly, Flo, like, we, me and Flo, yeah. like, our looks, obviously, we kind of cap similarly. But, yeah, I, I'm listening to him. I'm like, I should have did that fucking round robin. But it's just like the way I cap, I go game by game. So yeah. it takes me a minute. Like Flow is a Knicks guy. So that model's yeah. like with me with Pistons, you know, you're going to get my Pistons looks immediately. Yeah, like, they're like uh, they going to go immediately. That's how Flow is with the Knicks. I didn't catch on to Miles McBride until literally 20 minutes. I think I gave out Miles five threes, like 25 minutes before I came on straight. Because that's yeah. when I actually got to the game and started, like, deep diving. I knew I wanted something with Josh Hart. I gave out Giddy last night. I knew I was playing Giddy. But when I actually started doing deep dives, I'm like, oh, shit, it's every other day with Miles McBride. So, yeah, the looks are similar, but I wish I'd have did that round robin with threes. That would have saved me a lot of damn energy. Wait, mm. but hold on. Who is the three? Who who you did round robin threes with? Lilo Kispert and uh, Deuce. Oh, yeah. Damn. Fours and five. Did like, let's see what I happens. I should have did that. That would have did. Yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna find something to put with McBride four threes, for yes. sure. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put with it. But yeah, I, do that. I might rebounds. just do them all three in a parley. I might just get those three threes out just straight, yeah. probably plus four fifty, plus five hundred. You know. Yeah. Let's yeah. See. And then the last one, like, not, yeah, not to step on your play. You know, it's, it's the same concept. It's like Josh Giddy had like a triple double two years against the Knicks. So it's like this the two triple double boys. So like I did Giddy seven and seven, Hart ten and seven, and got eight hundred on DK. So you know those two guys are like similar in like how they could just like rack wait. Up. You did Giddy seven and seven and Hart what ten and seven. Oh, so you just added one more assist from Giddy. Yeah, because did, did my I thought was it? like this and was like pre shay because I was like because his line was five point five. I'm like, oh, he getting six, so like, why not just take it to seven? Maybe he gets to seven. And what it went to? Uh, plus eight hundred. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you know, yeah. how, how you guys want to do it? How yeah. you guys want to do it? You know, what I'm saying we got some similar looks here. And I mean, honestly, the the Bam double double. The people in the court to tell you. His Bam double double and money line look. I almost gave that out as a straight. I got that as a part of a blow money bet. I love that look as well. Minus one twenty eight for Bam to get a double double and Miami to win. Now, <clears throat> why didn't I play it? I love it, but I just put it on a blow money bet. But Bam be fronting on me sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I can't go too crazy on Bam. I already need a three for Bam. Bam be fronting on me when I go too crazy on him. So. For the sake of everybody else who bet on Bam, I didn't put a unit on Bam, okay? So we all can eat, you know. Yeah. Once I start putting a unit on Bam, you're like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I have a I have a free bet, so I'm going to do it. I'm not telling y'all to do it. It's only because I have a free bet. But two blocks, two blocks, 10 boards, 10 boards, one three, one three is plus 1,400. I'm just using a free $4 bet on that. You mean 14,000? 
fourteen thousand. Sorry, I said fourteen hundred. Yeah, fourteen thousand. Because the death is fourteen hundred. I ain't yeah. wrong. I don't want that. Yeah. Fourteen thousand. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, how about you know me? I always give flowers to everybody, but join the Cap Collective Discord. But how yeah. about my boy Stimmy last night? Oh they my god, close a hundred thousand. Now I gave out. It was that close to happening too. I mean, uh, who you telling? I gave out the Jante triple double first thing in the morning plus twenty two hundred. I'm sitting there waiting. I waited like I ain't time now to yeah. at least cover half of it. Whenever you ready, my nigga, just snatch two bones, cash us out. Yeah, yo, that. Oh my god, I'm sitting there watching the game. Like, yo, is this about to happen? How did I get two rebounds? I'm like, I didn't go into the fourth with eight. Yeah, and I, I thought. Because he was clearly chasing. He was yep, not was. because I gave out his 30 at a half a unit. He stopped really trying to score because he missed like his first four or five shots yeah. in the third quarter. Two of them shits hit off the side of the fucking backboard. I'm like, yeah. all right, Dante, easy, bro. And I think he felt that too. And Bogey got hot. So he started chasing at least assists. So I'm like, that nigga about to get a triple-double. But what do I always tell the dreamers? I rarely play DeJounte triple-double because this nigga does this shit all the time. I can't remember the last time he get a got a triple-double. Like, I stopped last year because that's literally what he always used to do. This dude would have, like, eight and seven at halftime and finish with, like, 12 and nine. Yeah. I'd be like, bro. Well, come insanity. On. Come on. Insanity. So, but, yeah, my boy Simi, he gave out uh, Middleton – who also was hunting for a while, too. He, he had a good chance. That wasn't even Middleton's fault. That was my play today, his dimes. I'd like to thank Malik Beasley, bum-ass, for shooting one for eight in the perimeter. He hit him right in the – you were wide oh, open yeah, in that corner had... like five times and bricked it. But he shot like one or seven from three. Thanks for showing up to the game, Malik. Meanwhile, on the other end, Giannis is throwing it to, to Pat Bev, and Pat Bev can't miss. Oh, wow. Yeah, Pat Bev was man. balling yesterday. Oh, yeah, oh my God. Gave Pat out. Bev, really? I should have gave out Pat Bev rebounds, man. All right, so we're about to get through the comments. You got anything else, Flo? No, nah, that's it. Yeah, I All think right. my 25 plays is enough. <laughs> right. Please tell response. Oh, they got they got more than enough today. All right, we're yeah. about to get through the comments, and then I'll get into story time, tell you guys how I got my nickname, give you guys a good laugh. Uh, and his name is was Andre cool. Drummond. I don't know why I called him DeAndre Drummond like this whole show. So. <laughs> I thought I heard that, too. Yeah, I was like, sorry. I uh, Dream Girls in the building. Happy Sunday. Easter. Like, share, and sub. Let's catch some more for sure. Um, let's go, Cavs. D Mitch for 25 points. Mm -hmm. Bed Road, no hills back in this thing. Still hot as fire. Okay. Um, I couldn't talk you off that. I like Donovan Mitchell for 20. I got a bet with him sitting in. Um, oh wait, no, I already gave it out in the uh in the Discord. But yeah, I, I got a, a round robin with him. Um, uh, well shit. Yeah, I got a round robin with him. Um <clears throat> Getting 20. Congrats on 1K. Appreciate you. Appreciate Absolutely. you. Congratulations. Donovan Mitchell, uh, 30 PRA. Okay. He has done this in the last 13 or 15. Wow. Really? I can get back from the injury. Like, uh, is, are his minutes, I haven't looked into it, but are his minutes back to what they're, are they going to be what they need to be? Or I think he was limited last game. He might have been. That's also uh, interesting, too. I would be, I would be uh, interested to see what he gets at. But but 30, playing, that's a great value. He could just get hot for like one yeah. quarter and like cover you. And playing the defending chance, I think he had, did he have eight assists last game? His first game I back? So. I think so. Interesting. Going well, that's a great, that's a great call. That, that PRA, that's a great call. Oh, it is. That's a great, 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 great call. call. I'm going to have to look into that for sure. And you would think against the defending champs, he's going to want to get at least 30 minutes in. We'll see though. Um, Yo, Flo, thoughts on Josh Hart trip Doug? He always triple double, man. I think it's in play. It's just, I just, I'm spoiled. Like, I played Josh Hart triple double at 4,000 and 2,200. Like, you ain't gonna get me to play a 700 or plus 900 triple double. Like, my, like I'm, I'm over there, man. Get me to the postseason. I'm over there, man. Josh Hart cashed me out like three times on this triple double. And honestly, y'all, that's how I feel a little bit too. But honest, I mean, to me, I need Josh Hart. If I get four digits, a plus a thousand or more, I'll play. Because we had 1,200 last game. Like, it's, it's yo-yoing. It went from 600. I'm like, uh. Then it went to 1,200 last game. And I'm like, fuck that. I'm taking that. Because he can still get it. Because I told you guys I felt like it dropped because Mitchell Robinson was back. He still almost could have got it last game. And now this game, I think, is back at about plus 700. Which kind of, you know. I mean, if you want to, I couldn't talk you off of it. But I kind of like what me and Flo did. We kind of dumbed it down. 
And you don't have to put giddy with it, but you can just dumb it down with something else if you want to. <clears throat> but he can still get it for sure. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa happy Easter, back. brother. Happy Easter for sure. Uh, thank you. Congrats on the 1K subs. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my boy Sahan, double S, was popping. Happy Sunday. Let's get this cash, guys. I know, man. The Amen. Pistons ain't playing like two days. What the fuck going on? <laughs> um, Daryl, uh, yeah, Daryl Bethel. Uh, what's good, Dream and Flow? Happy Easter to you in the chat. Let's get this cash. Let's it's waiting. Next. It is. Uh, what y'all think about MPJ? 15 and a half points slash threes. Maxi threes, McBride points. Let's go next. Well, you got any feelings? I like Maxi and McBride. MPJ, I can never figure him out. So he could go off. I don't want to take not to dig. I just like I just can never figure this guy out. But I love the other two though. I love MAGA. I I, I think I mean I don't love MAGA, but I like MAGA Porter Jr. Um, I, just because I feel like he's got a ball. I don't know what he did last game, but I'll be very interested to see his numbers since his name was kind of mentioned. In that investigation, that his brother mm. may have been playing his unders as well. Mm, I'd be cool. very interested to see what Michael Porter Jr. has done the last two games. I know he got a, a tech last game, which was unlike him. Now, I didn't see the tech, but as I was looking at the, I told you guys, you know, I, I might be watching two or three games, and I'm also looking at like uh play by play on the action on the action network app. So I saw he got a technical foul last game, which was interesting to me because he's generally not that type of guy. So um, <clears throat> just for that narrative, 15 and a half points, shit, he might come out balling, um, especially if he if it was some wrongdoing on his end. But either way, he just probably d tired of hearing. I didn't um, take him in that Portland game, but I know a lot of people were talking about, like, why didn't he shoot the ball against the Blazers when the Bla – that was a close game and he just wasn't shooting the ball. I thought that was a little peculiar. And then with that whole a few thing. games ago? Yeah, you remember like that game where there was no Jokic, there was no Murray? That was a game where, Aaron, oh, God bless you, Aaron Gordon. You cashed us out that night. But, mm -hmm. yeah, and then like everyone was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be Reggie. It's going to be MAGA shooting. And he just didn't shoot. He looked like disengaged. I'm mm. just like, why is he shooting the ball? But, um, Interesting. Yeah, we'll see. You already know we'll what I'm saying. With, mm. with that, with that mm. investigation turns up, and that'd be, that'd be crazy. He got a max contract. He's an NBA champion. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I mean, why, nigga? You can't whatever money people making off your bet, and you can't just get that to your brother. Like, come on, bro. I mean, taxes and taxes, but damn, even if you down bad in taxes, nigga, you got like three, four years left on that contract. You can't be down that bad in taxes. You ain't made that much money compared to the money you're gonna make in the future that you got that much debt that you need to be betting. God. Silver's gonna make an example of a Jonta. You already know that. This is lifetime. If it, come out, yeah. if it comes out, yeah. That's that's for sure. Um, as far as Maxi threes, I like Maxi today just because I like Philly today. Also, couldn't talk you off of uh, what's your boy name? Uh, Kyle Lowry couldn't talk you off of him at all. And Miles McBride, we don't talk about him to death today. So, yeah. uh, Killer Cam was good, my guy. Good. Tobias Harris, who is he? He he oh, has man. had twenty every game he played them this year, I think. Tobias Harris with me betting on Tobias Harris. Where's Fahrenheit for you? Talk to you about TJ. Uh, well, Tobias well, Harris is going to cook the raps today. Took well, his President Raptors fan has spoken. He has spoken. Yeah. He like his points up to 25. Got a two leg with Harris and Gary Trent Jr. 25 each. Nurse talk salty about Gary Trent Jr. I'll write that down. Good call. I appreciate you for that. I'll, I'll tell you on that. I don't know about that. I'll tell Tobias you. is fucking awful, but that I hate him so out. much. I hate him. No, so he's much. terrible. He's terrible. Um, but I, I, he did stick out to me in my captain. I think uh, one game. I mean, the first time they played, all of them had thirty, which was a shocker to me. Tobias, Maxi, and Embiid all had thirty the first time they played Toronto, and they still only scored like one fifteen. I'm like, what the fuck? That's um, and then I think the next game after that, Tobias had 23. I'm not sure what he had last game. So uh, I'll do a little more looking into I that. I feel so bad for Cam because you remind me when the Knicks were sorry like four or five years ago. And I used to tell everybody, take him, take Duncan Robinson, we can, whatever. Cam, every, like, I don't, I would love to know if we could go back. What's the rate of like, Cam will say, like, yo, this dude's about to cook us. You could just take his line. Like he said, because there was like Kings Raptors, the line was like minus 10, minus 11. He's like, well, we're gonna lose by thirty, so you should just take the spread. And I got took the spread off the strength of him just saying that. So now, nah, Cam is definitely the um, 
uh, the Raptors, <laughs> the yeah. rapper, Raptors uh, expert. Dale Bethel, Yo Tail and Paws, McBride threes, D-Lo threes, Hart threes, Hart threes, wow. Kiss for threes, Giddy points, and adding Dante threes, all straight bets. Uh, Leary of anything concerning Bam, though, because you know how he do sometimes. Yeah, that's a yeah, fact. Yeah, Bam is janky. I didn't even want to give it out. I, I I did not want to give it out or take it. He's janky. Josh Hart threes are very interesting. Yeah. Um, open, but very interesting. Uh, Cam Flo need to know about Miles McBride assists. He missed last game, but seems like Brunson had the ball all game. I love those Miles assists, man. What can yeah. I tell you? Uh, good I, my theory on that is him getting him ready for the playoffs to be Brunson's backup point guard and to get OG. So like that's why like they see him, you see him like running a lot of like around the second quarter, runs the second unit a lot. <laughs> okay. Cam said on oh God last game I was at, I described Sacramento versus the Raptors. First, yeah. Versus 12 year olds. Oh, that game was a little yeah. wild. Yeah, they that, was no that was even basketball. That was crazy. Uh, Daryl Bethel is Sunday. Always fade the Clippers and Harden on Sunday. Okay, yeah. you already know Harden got strip clubs in all area codes every Saturday night. Yeah, I wonder if that's. I wonder what Harden shit look like on Sundays. That's interesting. Oh, uh, that's um, Paul Reed and Mo Bamba for those two. I, you could do one block. I'm, I'm pretty confident they each gonna get a block. But uh, I'm I'm chasing the two blocks because like that was in my lean bucket last game. I was like, man, they could both get two blocks. I forgot what team they played last time, but it was a team that gave a lot of blocks. Now they play a team that gives up like top five in blocks again last thirty. So I'm like, okay, there's no way I'm not we're not running this back today. So it was Bamba and Paul Reed. The ten rebounds one is just speculative. They've never done ten and ten. I don't think like Bamba's had ten rebounds like in the last two months. My thing is just like I just. I've seen the destruction that like anyone who's a center can do. Like my dog pressure <laughs> is double double and ten rebounds. I'm like, oh, he back in Toronto. And they they don't keep anyone off the glass. So yeah, pressure's ten fired up, and he grabbed like fourteen. So yeah, yeah, Paul Reed and uh, Mo Bamba. Uh, but appreciate you pulling up, Mo. Um, Cam said, "Oh snap, one K. Congrats on me. Appreciate you, Cam. Man, what's like Diva? As long oh, as he plays oh, thirty minutes, Donovan, for, uh, yeah." Yeah, if he played at 30, he should get that. Yeah, the SMH supporter family full of, of boneheads. Yeah, we'll see, man. That 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 just be an epic L. Like, what the fuck? Uh, down playback B, yo, any player you see getting 10 points today? Uh, I mean, shit. Oh, you mean like a sneaky 10? That's funny because I was looking oh. at that yesterday. A sneaky 10? I mean, I mean, obviously Josh Giddy. I mean, Caruso would be the sneaky 10. I won't play him, but he's due to get double digits. He had a beautiful double digit streak going. And I think he's still like two of his last, I mean, eight of his last 10 in double digits. So if it's anybody lying just off the top of my head that sticks out to score 10 points today, um, Caruso, I think his line is nine and a half plus money. Um, <clears throat> I was going to go with Hornets point guard, uh, Mitchick. I think that's his mm -hmm. name. Yeah, Mitchick is also a good, a good guy. Now, again, his line is probably at 11 and a half, bro. 10 and a half, 11 and a half. Um, but yeah, Mitchick is a good guy to target as a double digit guy. Um, Caruso, you're getting way better odds, but Mitchick, I think he's got a better chance to score in it, especially with Harden. Um, and what could be a blowout, I could see him sneakily getting 10 points. So yeah, I, I, both of those I think are good looks. Uh, whoa, haven't liked it in yet, but Dante 21 points for assists is super light, in my opinion. He leads the league in catch and shoot threes, post all star break by a mile. He's usually the guy that's one pass away when Brunson sees Hedges. Um, true. okay, yeah, that that kind of goes with the deuce look as well. Um, did Dante already break that threes record for the Knicks? Yeah, last game. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. he was three away. I'm I, like, I'm mad I didn't like. Just grab whatever his line was. Okay. Uh, Tyson said he missed the show today, guys, but great work. Appreciate you. Uh, Steph, are you running Cam Thomas to sit back? No, but I, I did notice that I think the eight opened at like 1,200. I thought about it. There's so much volume today. I, I already feel uncomfortable with everything I have going on, but, like, those Cam assists. Love the Cam assists, man. Like, I look back at I think, like, last game he finished on four of, like, ten potentials. The thing is, like – I don't know, like, with the Nets, because they at the end of the day, like, they're still stupid. Like, Cam Johnson and Dennis Smith didn't play last game. I don't know if they're playing in this one. So my, my whole thought was, like, you know what? You got your little Dennis Smith money. Just, like, get out of here. Like, don't root for the Nets again. Like, 
And that's why, like, you know, Cam misses a defensive Simon, he sits half a quarter. Because the Nets do Nets things. They're stupid. So I'm just staying away. I'm just staying away. Tobias is the worst player to bet on, but he eats against trash teams. There's no one to guard him. Talk to me about Fremont Liberty or, or De- yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. And I, I agree with you there just because the, the reason why I don't like Tobias, and I forgot who put it out there. It was mm. a, a commentator, but yeah, they basically said he don't like to shoot bad shots. He's just like so fundamental. He don't shoot, he don't take bad shots. He don't force shots. You really of all people to shots. Buy Harris. And that's why you'll see him have some games have seven or eight points, and some games you have 18 and 20, and it's usually on efficient shooting because if it's not completely open or he's not getting to his spot, he's not gonna take the shot. Like it's really tough to get him to take a game winner because generally, you know, isolation game winner is gonna be a tough shot. It just ain't no way. Ain't no way. All right. It's crazy how uh, Tobias Harris and like Kirk Cousins are like two goats of our generation about the amount of money they've stacked the last five years. Like if you look at Tobias Harris's contract the last five years, that dude been getting paid like 36 M's plus the last like five years to be Tobias that's Harris. Crazy. That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Uh her bookie, my dog, blood money, NC State seven and a half, Purdue money line, OKC money line. I definitely like Purdue money line. I definitely like Purdue money line. And as much as I like my Huskies, UConn, uh, Alabama plus sixteen hundred to win the the chip. When was the last time we saw a team go back to back in the NCAA tournament? I can't remember. Could have been recent. I can't remember. I, if Alabama beat, if they beat UConn, they could win the chip easily. I, I, Duke. Who else would they play? Duke or fucking Purdue? Or NC State or fucking Tennessee. Nah, Alabama and all them threes, and they got the guard that you need with Sears. 1600? Man, please. I, I might use one of my, because you get the 30% joints. I might use my 30% joint on that. I mean, I, even 11 and a half, that's just too many points. Now, if Alabama don't hit their threes, they're going to lose by 30. But if they hit their threes, they can win the game. That, it's just that simple. So, yeah. Um, uh, good looks. All right, gang. Uh, let me see where we at. 107.5. All right. So, this is how I got my... Um, oh, here we go. My name, uh, Mr. Dreamy1. Oh, well, just Mr. Dreamy. So, uh, as you guys know, I went to a Catholic high school. We were pretty good in basketball uh, when I was there. So, we're pretty good now. Isaiah Stewart graduated from there. Um, but, yeah. Uh so to graduate, we had to do uh what is it called? Um, I want to call it customer service, uh, community service. So we had to like obviously you had to pass your grades and all your regents and all that shit, but you had to get a hundred hours of community service. And we got a hundred hours through like different sites. So we had to go uh to like hospitals, we had to go to other um schools and like help with kids and stuff. Like uh we went to like a a, a uh, elementary school, like a, I think it was Nazareth Elementary School. We used to help the kids. Then afterwards, at Nazareth, they had an all-girls high school. We used to chill there. Um, so we had to go to these places over our whole senior year and get 100 hours of community service. They would, like, let us out of school at, like, noon or some shit. And then from, like, 12 to 3, we would go to these sites. So one time, I went to MCH, uh, which is Monroe Community Hospital, in my city, it's the, the county hospital or whatever. Um, and our, uh, us guys, we went to, because uh, we would go in groups, so like, I guess, three to 10 or whatever. Um, so our guys, we went and we were like helping feed the older people or something like that. And I remember like these little uh, group of old ladies, they're at this table. Um, and uh, this is back, I had cornrows and stuff. And they were just like, um, uh, Cause we were helping them at the table eating stuff, and uh, when we were leaving, I was taking their trays and stuff. And uh, when I when I was leaving, uh, what the old lady was like, that one right there. Oh, back in my day, we would say he was so dreamy, and like uh, her friend just started laughing. I'm like, what is this, right? So when I get back, it was like four guys at the table still, but I thought I heard it when I left. So when I get back, 
I heard everybody like all the guys. Now, mind you, I went to school with a bunch of like white guys, and they were assholes, like just complete assholes. So they're like, "Oh, dreamy, oh, dreamy, <laughs> oh, dreamy," and they're like, "Leave the, the old is like, leave them alone, leave them alone, right?" So um, the name kind of stuck like that. They like messed with me kind of toward the end, uh, the the rest of my the senior year. They messed with me. Um, so like I don't know, four or five years later. Uh, we're playing PlayStation 2 or something, PlayStation 3. I don't fucking know. I haven't played games in so long. Around the time when 360 was popping. So I don't know what PlayStation that is. Maybe PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, I don't know. But um, I feel like PlayStation 3. Either way it goes. Wrestling was out. Uh, SmackDown was out. So we used to all, me and the gang, we used to just create wrestlers and shit, right? Uh, you had to do like your interests. You had to do the moves and shit like that. Yeah. So I created, because back at this time, I was probably like 22, 23, something like that. So like everybody wanted nicknames. My old nickname was Chris Moneymaker because my name is Chris Thomas for those who don't know. My old name was Chris Moneymaker, but I wanted like a new name. So I was like, all right, I'm just about to be Mr. I'm, I'm about to name him Mr. Dream instead of like Dreamy. I'm about to name him Mr. Dream. So that also stuck with me. Mr. Dream was like my wrestler that I always created. And then that went into online play to the Xbox. And that's how I got into Mr. Dream. But Mr. Dream or Mr. Dreamy wasn't available. So I had to do Mr. Dreamy 1 on mm. Xbox. And that's how I kind of got to where you guys know me is now. Because I told you guys I used to host these Xbox 360. Uh, is that No, Xbox One. I'm tripping. Is it Xbox? I don't fucking remember no more. Yeah, Xbox One. Xbox One. These X, yeah, it was definitely Xbox One. I used to host these 2K leagues. So I would have 30 guys in the leagues. They would all play, pay 10 to $20. We would have trades. We would do a fantasy draft. We would have trades in the season. You would have to have games done by all that. Blah, blah, blah. So that's how Dream just stuck because a bunch of grown men wasn't calling me my username of Mr. Dreamy. They weren't calling me Dreamer, Dreamy. So they just, everybody in the 2K chat on GroupMe used to just call me Dream. I'm still actually following a few guys. If you look at like, cause I don't still follow a lot of people, but if you look at a lot of my early follows, it's like 2K guys. Cause I used to uh, get the, I used to uh, badge grind for people and sell my players. So I would, I would grind the guy up to like 95 and I would sell the guy. I would sell the whole file to somebody and then they would go to all the shit, shit like that. So all that is how I got the name Dream. Dreamy. All right. So <laughs> uh, long story. story. But yeah, Great definitely story. started with some old ladies back in like 2004. <laughs> that's how the name started. And that's how that's it started. Funny. All right. That's the story. Um, and it's great, man. It's great to actually get to a thousand subs. <laughs> <laughs> I know you see that. <laughs> no, no, and I'm telling you, like, the my guys, like, they were assholes. Like, you guys know how it was in high school, but like, yeah. these guys were like assholes, like, just doing pranks, just they just assholes, man. Just, just assholes. So, yeah. It was great, man. But um, that's what I was laughing at, right there. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was laughing at that too. Yeah, I always. Yeah, if I, 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 man, I could tell you guys some great stories. I'll try to have a little more story time, like my boy Ski. He'd be having story time with Ski. Uh, but yeah, but I could tell you guys some amazing stories. Hey, you man. need to have uh, your own segment where you break down albums. Like you should break down his future Metro Boom, and after you did that, like it popped by the last year. Yeah, that shit was yeah. fine. I told people, I mean, might as well see how you feel about it. But I, I already told, I already told the stream, like, I don't care. I don't want to hear it no more. Now, maybe Cole, maybe if he do some shit at Dreamfest, but like at this point, it's kind of dead. Like Drake don't wanna Drake, he's playing it smart. I just feel yeah. like Drake's like I, cause he don't want to see thirsty. Man. If Drake come out with a full diss, then Kendrick gonna be like, this is what I wanted. And maybe that's what Drake wants too. But Drake always want to seem like, like, why are you attacking me, bro? Okay, since you attacking me, I'm going to do this to you. Like, that's when he's at his best. So Kendrick, he's clearly throwing shots, been throwing shots. But Drake probably on some shit. Now he like, well, I catch you at the next big feature. And I'm yeah. going to throw some shit where you know, but I'm not going to do a back-to-back. -back. I'm not going to do a charged up like you want. I, and I, So I, I, I'm kind of over it. I wish. They would, but I, I, I'm kind of over it. And the more I talk to Drake fans, as much as I, I, I think Drake 
don't want that smoke. But as much as I talk to Drake fans and try to be like uh, logical about it, I could see their way of thinking. They like, you know, this is what they've been doing. So now just because Kendrick got the upper hand, you can't now expect Drake to be like, I'm about to make a full song. No, nope. Drake gonna throw his little shot. And it might be on the number one song, like this the number one song. Yep. So, I, you know, I, I, it's just when Kendrick set the world on fire, you just expected these guys, especially Cole, I just expected these guys to come out like, hey, hey, bro. Yeah, that last, Drake album, that last Drake album is crazy uh, to listen back to and knowing now the full story with him and Future was going on. Because, like, what, well, what a time to be alive dropped. That was fantastic. Love that album still to this day. I thought we were going to get part two. And then, like, now you see, like, that future Metro Boomin' Joe was crazy. Oh, was that crazy. album is amazing. Crazy. That album is amazing. No, It's not even summertime all. yet. Like, I can't wait for yeah. summertime. Yeah. And I guess they're dropping another one this week. I'll be interested to see what that one Oh, drops. they are? Yeah, it's supposed to be back-to-back, -back. yeah. I think the only reason why they didn't drop this week is because Beyonce dropped. Oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I thought when I was reading for, like, the album and shit, I thought it was, like, it's, it's, it's two of them. <laughs> it's cool. Damn, so, yeah, and I'm not surprised with those guys. They probably got thousands of fucking yeah. songs. But I knew it was smoke with future. Well, I felt I didn't know. I felt like it was smoke with future and um and 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 Drake when he did a whole album with 21. Cause it's yeah. like you've been cool with 21, but like you either a super culture vulture and you just working with the hottest Atlanta nigga. Which Drake got a little bit of that in him, but I don't think it's that. Or you just like, I don't need you no more. I won't even hold you. I love Future. I haven't heard Future this inspired in like damn near a decade. Like I've been listening to his last couple albums. They cool, but like when Fu mixtape Future, Monster, Purple Rain, like 2014, 15, 16 Future, like that's what this Dirty Sprite Two, like that's what this Future sound like. I haven't heard that in like yeah. a decade. So I'm like, yeah, that's my boy. Cool. My boy is like a future. He he's on like that future. You talking about old future. He was on future yeah. when future first came out. I, I always like future, but my favorite future album is a recent one. It's the wizard. That might have came out like six, yeah. seven years ago. That's yeah. my favorite future album. But since that, oh man, I'm enjoying the shit out of this album. And like yeah, you said, fantastic. future going in on every song. He said, so let's say Kendrick got some more coming on part two. I know that's another thing people are saying, like. Cause it's it's two albums. Brian said, "Yeah, they have another album coming this week." What if Kendrick come on that album and throw more smoke again? Now I think that'd be od. But if you do that, I mean, damn. I'm not, I'm not trying to start a debate and keep us here for another two hours. I love K Dot, but can you call yourself like the goat or whatever when you dropped an album like once every four year average? Like, only reason why I say come yeah. Me, come on now. Only reason why I say yeah, like I told on stream a couple of days ago, is just like The Rock right now in wrestling. So mm -hmm. I haven't watched wrestling in years, but it's The Rock first time they say he's been back in wrestling for a minute, and he's the talk of wrestling. Oh my god, I haven't watched wrestling in like a decade. The Rock is fantastic. This and, whole like Cody they talk Rose, about that. Magic. They talk about that pro promo with Cody Rhodes where he yeah. bloodied him up, and before that they was talking about how. He get to cuss and nobody else cuss. That's how you can say I'm the GOAT. Like, you don't got to be around. You just know when I come back, it yeah. is what it is. And also, I forgot who I was watching some video and they made this point too. It's like, until one of you niggas disprove me, you got to disprove me. Because he do got the same formula. Because he did it with, I think, last album when he had the songs with Baby King. And he was basically mm -hmm. talking the same shit. He did it with control. Like smoking you on do your top five tonight. He, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's smoking on yeah. So he do this, but this is my thing. One of you niggas say something there. Like if I yeah. felt like you what you can't just do that, then one of y'all do something. Make it so he don't feel so comfortable leaving for three, four years, then coming back like, yeah, you niggas still can't fuck with me. It, it, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I thought so. Okay, I'm about to go do some artistic shit. I'm a huge I'm, Drake, I'm I'm a huge Drake fan from day one, but Drake been making some elevated music at times instead of responding to K Dot. That's just a fact, though, if I'm being honest. What you you said he well, been what, what was that I skipped it because I wasn't a fan of that uh elevator music HM album. Uh which one is that? I, I'm oh, like, honestly, never mind. 
Yeah, it was just like it was to me. It was like I didn't even listen to it, bro. Yeah, I, I like, heard a couple right. songs. I couldn't do it. I, I like one of them songs. Sticky. Yeah, he has a couple I like on there. Sticky. Yeah, I like Sticky. I like Jimmy Cooks, but I honestly didn't give it to a listen. And Drake fans kill me for this. I I can't listen to Views, bro. I don't. I don't. Oh, you didn't like Views? I haven't listened. Isn't that the that's the shit? Just like the whole Caribbean album, right? It's like yeah. a dance album. I, I yeah. I, I mean Views. I like views. Views is just too just like dreary. Like I can't really play views in the gym. Like I other like Drake, Drake. In the gym. I want Drake like 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 the one that came out with 21. What that nigga rapping every song. That's yeah. the Drake I like. I don't want no singing. Now obviously that's what make him a GOAT candidate is the both shit. But I like my Drake like 4 p.m. in Calabasas. That's like Absolutely. probably my favorite Drake song where you diss a puff. I, when I heard that, I, I lost my shit. I'm like, wow, he just buff? Mm. Oh shit, like that. That's my favorite Drake. Or that album, if you're reading this, is too late. Like when he just oh, yeah. rapping. I, I like that Drake. That's why my favorite Drake album is his first album. It's just his first one, even though he probably got way better albums. But it's just he he was rapping so much. So yeah, I, I like I like Drake rapping. Um, yeah. I'm a nothing I, was the same guy myself. I know, like most people say, like "Take Care" is his best album. I'm nothing was the same. I just remember that summer. I remember playing that album every, every day that summer, going to work on a train, every doing everything to that album that summer. So. That's the uh, that's the joint with "Come Through" on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some other songs on that too. Power I did have some perform too. in person with Lil Wayne. I think like a year later or that summer. I can't remember. So that just always holds a special place in my heart. Yeah, I remember I seen Drake. Um, I remember I seen Drake around the time No Lie was out. Early mm -hmm. Drake, then <laughs> I seen mm -hmm. Drake good. rolling with Heart 14 boards, Cam eight dimes, Giddy 15 points. Heart will fetch rebounds. Cam, Cam, I don't know about the dimes. Giddy should score. Yeah, I, I love Giddy and Heart. Cam, we have to see what's up with Cam. We have yeah. to see what's up. Kendrick and King Los over J. Cole and Drake. Yeah, Los is a guy. Um, I have a, I've heard great things about Los and Ransom. Those are niggas like a lot of people always trying to put me on with. I just really haven't had the time. I know they nice, but yeah, King Los and Ransom are like two guys that people swear by. And that's super nice. What's another nigga? Rocky Marciano and Star Lito, all guys that I'm pretty sure is nice. I just haven't had a chance to get into them yet. Cause I like listening. I love listening to all type of music. I like listening to like Kendrick, like the normal music, like. Like new music, everybody know, but I try to find like new, super new artists too. Yeah. Um, like this is dude from Memphis, B E O Kenny. I really like him. Uh, Drake has to respond. If not, Kendrick just gonna say every time I say something, y'all scared to engage with me. That's that's my whole argument with the he do this shit every four years. I feel like if niggas would make him, but nobody yeah. really making them do that shit. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? I feel like the one that called him out the most might have been Big Sean. I, I don't even remember, but I feel like Big Sean might have called him out on some shit. I feel like that too, and that's when Kendrick called him a little bitch like ten times in a verse. I forgot what song that was, but that was fire too because he kept saying "little bitch" like the whole verse. I was like, "Oh, Chris, no word." Oh, okay, yeah, he said that. Yeah, I. Uh, you heard of Four Bats? It's a real life. That's mm -hmm. funny. Yo, it's this dude on YouTube who came across my feet. He nice with it, too, man. He nice. He got dressed. Young boy. I forgot. He got like 26,000 subs or something. So y'all probably know. But I was watching the video. He was talking about that. And I seen Joe Budden said the same thing. It's something. Because everybody's saying that he an industry plant. And then he got three songs. And he got like 10 million monthly listens on Spotify with three songs. Then Drake signed him. And Kanye West co-signed him with three songs. Something ain't up. So, mm. so, 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 something stink. Something stink. So, yeah. I, I, you know. But we saying this now, and then in two years, he may be the biggest artist in the world. I don't know. But what I do know is in the, in the DR, oh, man. The nigga uh, Ronchi? R-O-N-C-H-I-I? -I -I, Ronchi? Oh, he the one. Ronchi, Ronchi, oh my God, that's all they listen to down there. Everywhere I went, it, it, it felt like Jeezy in 06. 
in Georgia. I was in Georgia in 06 when Jeezy was popular. Was That's how it felt like in the DR with Rochi. And I don't know if he Dominican or if he Puerto Rican or not. I think he Dominican. But Rochi a problem. I'm going to have to listen to some Rochi when I get out of here. Yeah. Only thing he paint his nails green. Aside from that, he a hood nigga. I fuck with uh, Match Juice, 15 points. Garland, 10 assists. Couldn't talk you off of that either. Garland, man. Um, his points is low as fuck. But he been getting them assists. So is uh Donovan Mitchell. So couldn't talk you off that. Maxi now questionable. So it might be a Tobias Harris day. Maxi. Oh wow. Yeah, now questionable. Oh man. That'd be fucked up. Man, you better play Maxi all this shit. I got two straight bets with Philly. Don't fucking play with me, Philly. Do I Raptors are just so bad. bad. They're oh, so shit. bad. Yeah, I got two straight bets with you bitches. Don't fucking play with me, Philly. Fucks. All right. Um, with that being said, man, you got anything else to say, Flo? Nah, man. That's pretty much it. I just want to let y'all know uh, big things in store from WNBA season. I want to say opening night is May 18th, so I'm getting everything together. There's a lot of elements that go through. I don't know if I want to do every day because, you know, with life, it's hard to do a show every day, so I commend you for doing that. Congrats to you on the 1K. It's the, road, it's the road to 2K and 10K, man. I've been saying. This dude's a stud, so he deserves all his flowers, but... I'm going to have today in the W, I'm going to try and do like three, maybe four days a week, depending, because like a lot of times we'll have like those Saturday slates with like four games. But looking forward to wrapping up this NBA season strong. Sports with Flow on YouTube. Stefan Florbaugh on Twitter. Let's get to this bread. It's been a great week, but we got to keep going. Got to keep going. I got to update my account. My account's still been the same on my Twitter bio. I have no clue where the hell I'm at right now. But I want to get to 100 before the finals are done. I've, that, that was a good personal goal for me this year. So let's get to this bread. Take don't take DeAndre Drummond's rebounds. Take Andre Drummond's rebound when that go up. <laughs> oh, I got. It. Yeah, man. Um, same, man. I'm glad that you kind of kind of shocked me back into um, like it's only eight games left for a lot of these teams. Yeah. Very shocking. So um, that that is good. That that's real quick, real quick. I'm you know, when you're in a slump, I have a weird thing that makes me want to tell you more because I'm like. This is the stock market. The, the the line don't go up the whole time. It go down. It dips. It go down, and it goes right back up. So I'm like, oh, you're in a slump. Cool. <laughs> yeah, two, five on the on the blunt money. Then done. Yeah, I be feeling the same way too. I I feel like you know it's weird when I'm on a streak. I'm more likely to give out half unit plays than when I'm in a slump. And it's not even like chasing. It's like, well, I've been catching some bullshit. I know sooner or later this shit about to start going back how it was bent. But Very yeah, much. and as far as the WNBA, man, I can't wait, man. That first first few weeks, yo, we're gonna be sniping mm. shit, man. We're gonna be taking advantage. I think it's gonna be just like in the NBA. But I think because I mean, how long were we able to play Dennis Schroeder double double? You know, we were able to play Dennis Schroeder lines for a minute. So yeah, uh yeah, I can't wait to WNBA. Hard to stay up till 12, like 1 30 in the morning again, because <laughs> With Over the week, top. this is before I knew about the WNBA like that. I was like, why is Asia Wilson's rebound 7.5? Like, what? Love it. Mm. Love it, man. Chris Noah, good show. Peace. Appreciate you. Much success to both of y'all. Follow my boys. Appreciate Pogo you, Solo. Thank you. Congrats on that 1K. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. All right, gang. Um, as always, do me a favor. Hit that like button on the way out. I will have timestamps on as soon as this show is done. I will put the timestamps on immediately. So do me a favor, hit that like button on your way out. Pop off of YouTube. Pop on, I mean, pop off of Twitter. Pop on YouTube. Uh, sub to the channel, Blunt Money Bets. Um, and as always, sub to the Cap Collective Discord. The link is in the bio and on my um, Twitter. Y'all know the vibes. Let's get this cash. We got to have it. So let's get